rear wheel drive? I doubt it. It's not a Kia. It's a Honda Pilot. Honda Pilot, Georgia Tags, Gravel Lot. This has scratches all down the side of it. Some damage there. Locked. Honda Pilot. Ooh, why is that here? Might want to double check that and see. You guys be towing people? Yes, sir. Oh, like what? This like, isn't this isn't hotel parking. This is a private parking lot. Are you parked here? Yeah. Yep. Is this your car? No, heck no. Okay. Well, if you're parked here, and you no, don't work, to know that, you don't work for the person that owns this lot, then you need to move your car. Okay. Yo, I'm definitely going to do that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hey, you know what? God bless me to see y'all guys. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. I'm on my way out. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you saw us. But yeah, you can't park in this lot here. It's a private lot. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Hey, thank you, sweetie. Oh, thank thank you. Thanksgiving. I appreciate thank you. Thank you. Yes, you too. Thank you. Uh huh. Curious. He's getting in the truck over there with Georgia tags. There's one parked right beside that with Florida tags. I'm gonna guess there's a lot of them. Uh, probably. Is this all-wheel drive? It's a pilot. No, it's just front wheel, but can't get to the front of it. No, can't get to the front of it. I don't know. We'll see. No. Two? There's the sign. One of them. You didn't get chased this time. Well, you know about that. Could you really give chase on Thanksgiving with a big stomach full of food? Oh my gosh. Nope. No chasing going on. <laughs> Do I go up and over or down? Probably up and over. Probably up and over. By the way, downtown looked. Yeah, it was gridlocked down there. Alright guys, off to the lot. I'm so I'm sorry, you said you had a, a black Honda pilot? Holly Ridge Road. Um, we don't we don't have one that was there. We had one that was parked in the uh, oh in the private parking lot across from Country Inn and Suites. We got a black Honda Pilot from there. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It had a handicap. Uh, 
Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, you know, you can't tow a handicapped car in the state of Tennessee. Mm, that's not true, ma'am. Um. If, uh, if, if you were parked in a, you can park anywhere you want in a handicapped spot. You can park anywhere you want on, on, uh, city property, but that you were parked illegally on private property. Okay. So where is the car at now and how, I, how do I get it back? Um, it is in our impound lot, 221 Newman Road. Okay. And do you know approximately how much it costs to get it out? Um, it's, uh... Okay. Um, do you, did this number pop up in your phone? Can you just send me a text of the address? Uh, yes. Yes, I can do that. Now, we don't, we don't have anybody after hours at the pickup, but if you're trying to arrange something, I don't care to try and meet you over there, but I just need to know when you're coming so I can get somebody to the gate. Um, well, I'm not sure how far away it is from my current location, but I assume I'll have to arrange an Uber lift yeah. if there is Uber in yeah. Gatlinburg. Yeah, cabs or Uber, there's, there's several cab companies in and around the area. Okay, well, we will, um... If you'll just respond in the text message and say, hey, I'm going to be at your lot for the pickup at such and such time, and uh, then I'll, I'll text you that address as well, and we'll just kind of go from there. Okay. It'll probably be in the morning. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll probably do first thing in the morning. Okay. All right. Do you, do you have medicine in the truck? Is your insulin in the truck? No. Okay. All right. It should be in the morning. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. I told you about our car being towed. Yes, um, pardon me? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Um, nowhere is it posted that that's private property. Private property. I took a picture of the sign and I have always been able, I'm disabled, and I have always been able to park anywhere but a fire zone. Uh, there is nowhere posted that that is private property. It says employees only. Yeah, employees only. It's a private lot for employees only. It's not posted private. Now, I was understanding that if it was private and posted, then I would be towed away. But it is not posted private. And I am handicapped, and now I'm walking to my hotel. Why, why? Now, why, why? that shouldn't have been towed. That shouldn't have been towed away. Well, ma'am, it's like I said, it's it's a it's a private lot, and I, I don't. I guess I don't, it's I, not posted private, sir. Well, I'm, I, I took a picture of the sign. If it was posted private, then. I would know better, but it is not. Well, you, you there should, is no. The, you, you should know better anyway. It says employees only. Are you an employee? No, I'm a disabled person. That my uh, when I googled the state of Tennessee, mm -hmm. it said I could park anywhere but a fire zone. Okay. It did not say private property was exempt. Well, it just, it did just, not. just because you have a handicap placard doesn't give you the right to take up a employee parking spot. There was plenty of them. Yes, it does. I can take up a spot at the beach. I can park anywhere I want that is not a fire zone. Yes, and if it is, as long as it's government owned. This is not a government owned lot. It doesn't state government owned anywhere in the policy. It does not say, I don't know what's government owned and what's not. All I know is if it's private property, I can't park there. This yes. did not say that. Well, it's it did not say that. The sign, I took a picture of the sign. And it does not say anywhere that this is private property. 
Okay. Well, I mean, it, it, it's it's a private lot, and it's and it's employees only. Well, it so should be. Then it had to be posted that. In order for me to know that, it has to be posted, and it was not. What? Nowhere was it posted. What? If you're handicapped, and, why why did you not park in the handicap at the hotel? Because we're not staying at that hotel. We we knew that we couldn't park there, so we went where it was not posted private. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. There's nothing it's else not I can. Funny. There's nothing. It's I, not funny. I'm disabled, and I'm walking three miles to my motel. Well, I have to laugh to keep from crying, man. Well, then cry because that's what I'm doing. Because. Why? <laughs> okay. How do I dispute this as I'm in the hospital? What, how do I dispute it? Um, uh, well, I mean, stop stop walking and, and take a cab if, if you're worried about being in the hospital. I, I, I do not have the money for a cab. Do you want to pay for that? Uh, no, ma'am. No, I, I no. don't. No. Okay. Then you need to do something about this because if you don't, I am. Okay. Well, I uh, I assure you to go ahead and do so. And um, what's your name? My name is Jeff. I I'd recommend you that you call the police department if you have any disputes. Okay, guys. I guess I'm getting badgered by the little old lady that I've destroyed her evening. Kristen was bringing up a good point. It's like. She, she parked her car there and walked all over Gatlinburg. She didn't have any problem walking from there. And then all of a sudden, after we remove her car for illegally parking, that, you know, she, she all of a sudden can't breathe and, and she can't walk after that. Tries to put that on me. And, and, and then she brought up the point of, uh, you know, I, I knew I couldn't park at Country Inn and Suites. I knew that was, a, so oh, why would it be okay if she knew not to park at Country Inn and Suites because it was a private lot, why would it be okay to go over into a parking lot that says employees only, which is a private lot? So I don't understand. I don't understand the thought process between between the two. She probably was having difficulty breathing, but I mean, if it's if it's that much of a burden, and I mean, get a cab or an Uber or something, or you know, and yeah. But then it was my fault to. I was supposed to buy her a. I'm supposed to pay for her cab or Uber. And there's trolleys. And she could have parked for free in any of the city parking lots, the parking garages, I believe. I think that uh, as long as you have a handicap placard, I don't, I don't think that they charge for that stuff in the city lots. But you still can't park illegally with a handicap placard. Yeah, she she thinks just because she's got that, you know, that gives her the right to to park anywhere she wants, and that's just that's simply not true. I mean, you can't just uh, you know say she just wanted to stop in the in the road alongside the parkway and just leave her car there she's she's saying that she as long as she's got that she can do whatever she wants i, I guess i don't I, I understand you know she's got that and she and she needs it for her disability and whatever it, her disability is she needs it and that gives you the right to park and and, and, and helps you and aids you in that and by all means I would never uh, normally we we disregard all of these you know just because it's you know uh, a medical issue and I do understand that but why would she not use it for the business that she's trying to park at because it like you know it gives her it gives her that right to park mm -hmm. anywhere she wants on the on the thing just not on somebody else's property it's private it's a private property and it's employees only and we you know we went over that she's definitely not an employee she knew she wasn't an employee she knew she couldn't park across the street and there's also several parking lots that are way closer to the parkway than where she parked yeah yeah that's that I mean, would have been way more convenient that's a good ways away uh for sure and i uh and i do i feel for it she's you know she had to walk and but yeah i, I don't i guess i just i don't understand i'm at a loss and she's she's saying that we need to do something about it and uh this is not uh, the last we're here about it for sure. She's she still text messaging me. Um, a last text message come in and said, "I need to know who owns that lot." And uh, and again, we, that's been a question that's that's uh, that's come up quite a bit with our illegal park issues in and around the area. It doesn't matter where it is. Everybody wants to know who 
well I, I'm not I'm not at liberty to give out that information if they want to do their research or go to the courthouse or do their homework and, and figure that out I'm I'm not going to be the one that gives out you know personal information so okay guys uh sorry about that gatlinburg was calling for uh, a call over here I'm, I'm somebody in a can am i guess is probably out doing something that they shouldn't have been doing so we're going to take one to impound it looks like i thought they were calling to scold me i thought maybe the uh i thought maybe the evil old lady had <laughs> called the police department and said bad things about me which she probably did but hats off to the dispatch there we love the dispatch and uh, they always do an amazing job and giving us all the information that we need about things. I, I feel like I feel like the I kind of ask a lot. I don't know if other tow companies ask all of the questions that I do, but uh, I just I don't know. I'm in a habit of if I'm going after something that I, I always ask what your make model and what's wrong with it. I guess so. They're all they always do an amazing job and and uh, happy Thanksgiving to all the officers there and we appreciate uh, each and every one of them for for going out of their way for. I feel like they go out of their way for me. But, oh, definitely, yeah. Um, but yeah, we're on our way over, guys. And, and again, um, this this gal that's, uh, you know, she's, we get that excuse too. This, the lady said, well, there, there were plenty of parking spots. And that kind of comes back to, you know, she knew, you know, I took a picture of the sign and there are plenty of parking spots. Just, just because there are plenty of parking spots in my yard doesn't mean I want everybody coming over and parking in it. I just I don't I don't understand I don't I do and I don't you know she's upset and she's gonna tell me everything that is on her mind I understand that part but uh, some of the questions that come in are uh, are kind of crazy I don't understand the reasoning you know it's like she well I can't park at the hotel because it's a private lot and I knew I'd get in trouble there and honestly she would have been 100% safe over there. I think, yeah, I don't I think, think she would have been 100% safe over there. Even if she had parked right up front in their handicap spot, I don't think they would have said anything. Yeah, yeah, that's normally the thing. So we had one come in the other day, and and here's a for instance. I told them no, that I couldn't help them. You know, they were parked at a business in a handicap spot. They had handicap plates, and uh, I just disregarded. And it's kind of crazy. I try, I try to I try to not, you know, because I understand you. you got health problems and and those are a thing but she wasn't if she'd have parked in a handicapped spot she'd have been fine she was just thought that you know I'm, I'm just gonna park on this private property and I can I do what I want she's pretty much I do what I want bless her heart I hope she's okay I just yeah, yeah I'm not here to argue with anyone I'm here to do a job and you did things that you shouldn't have and if you want your car I'll by all means you guys have watched enough of my videos to know that I will bend over backwards at any hour to get you your property back. And I understand, you know, she's if they've got medicine or or insulin or this is most of the reason that I do what I do because uh, I understand that folks are traveling. If this was this was not a vacation destination and this was a home, most of the businesses businesses can just say, you know, eight to five, Monday through Friday. But I understand you guys are traveling and you're traveling with everything that that you own, clothes and and uh, and medicines that you may or may not need in in a moment's notice. So I, not everybody, I promise you, I'm <laughs> probably one of the few people still here in this area that will do this for you. But I personally, if you call me and tell me that you've got something or need something, if it's in my power and I can get to it and I don't have, uh, you know, some, if I'm not working a, a crash or, or something like that, I, I will try my best to do it in a timely manner to get you your vehicle back no matter what the time of day. And like I said, you guys watch enough of our videos, you know that uh, that's the case. But anyway, we're off to see if we can pick up this Can Am and uh, probably get it over to Impound. Stick around, stay tuned. This lady has uh, already said that she's she's going to pursue uh, something here, uh, whatever that means. Uh, her and a whole lot of other people have said that to me. So, but she's still got to pick up her car. So I would guess that you guys are not going to want to miss out on that. So stick around, stay tuned. All right, this Can Am. Happy Thanksgiving. These people must have done something they weren't supposed to do. Uh, yeah, they parked it here. Man. They parked it here. I guess so. What a great place to park. I mean, we checked the park and everything with our loudspeakers, trying to see if anybody. You know, went off to look at a bear or something. It works. So it's just been abandoned? Yes. That's insane. The rental company's gonna love that. They rent these after hours? Yeah, that's weird too. 
I thought they had to be turned in by like. Usually they turn it back in, you know, by like 6 or 7 p.m. Yeah. Are there belongings? That's crazy. That's crazy. That's, that's, the key is in it. The keys okay. are in it. All right. Well, we'll just shut it off and just tow it. Yeah. I don't want to take any. Okay. There's my walk around. Under the sun. While you park. Right by the sun. And there's plenty of parking. I didn't see the sun. There's no sun. Plenty of Okay, so just yeah, that's that's the sign right right there right there's the sign right there's the car Maybe I should get it from that direction. Yeah, maybe Get lucky. I'll park there anyway. Front wheel drive. <laughs> you gonna sing a front wheel drive song? It's a front wheel drive. I feel like there's scratches all over that. Anti theft. Temporary tag. Can you guess the state? Ohio. Georgia. The Georgia night. Okay, I just want to point out that that is zip tied on there. It's been here for a bit. He, security called us. Gosh, it's probably been an hour. We'll all get by. Will that run his battery down? Was the LEDs running? LEDs are supposed to be low power. I wonder if the e-brake's on. Oh, I guarantee it. Hmm. Does not appear to be. Hey, this is Jeff. Everything auto. I missed your call. Uh, yes. Yeah, I was calling. Did you tow a 2013 Ford Escape? Um, from the private lot across from Country Inn and Suites? Correct. Yes, ma'am. Um, I was told that I could park there because there was no parking across the street. When we got here, we got here like early this morning. We're from Georgia. Okay. And I was told as long as I had that tag in the window, my car would be fine. Okay, guys, pulling into the lot over here. Got the the uh, folks after the escape. I believe she called me at like four o'clock this morning. Yeah, it was bad. No, you can walk up. It's fine. So somebody told you to park there, huh? Yeah, the lady at the thing said it was fine as long as I had a parking pass because the whole thing was packed. And we came from Georgia, and she said, um, I said, there's nowhere to park. Yeah. And she said, uh, where are you trying to park? And I said, like, right there across the street with all the other cars. And she said, mm, you should be good as long as you hang your parking pass. So just in case we didn't get any footage, she says that Country Inn and Suites told her to park there. Let me get this receipt. What's that? No. Yeah, I don't keep anything. Everything just goes to the crusher. You might try with uh, cars over in Pigeon Forge. They've got a, a, a junkyard over there that they, everything goes to. It's it's called Car C A R R S. That I I believe they are. They should be. Well, we'll figure it out. We got a lot going on right now. You uh you just needing a wheel or something? Oh, okay. Back to All right, you. Good? 
Thank you. Sorry, it's hard. It's kind of something, man. I, I wish, man. First I, night, first I, night down. I, <laughs> it, it, it was everything. We had a bad, uh, bad, a bad, day. bad, all around bad day. Well, hopefully it gets better. You guys be careful. These roads are slick. Thank you so much. You're welcome. The camera's doing funny things, guys. I'm sorry. It did it to me twice in the middle of the night. Four o'clock this morning, it did it to me. It just randomly shut off. We were missing good uh, yelling and screaming matches. Anyway, guys, she kind of picked up the car. She says that they pointed across the street. She told them where she was parked. They said, yes, you'll be fine as long as you got your country in and suites hang tag. You've got that tag that you can park over there across the road where you're at is what she's telling me. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that, but she also said right after that that she talked to somebody else that was parked over there and those people told her that no, the country and suites told them that they couldn't park over there and they needed to move their car so i don't know if this is two different people from there that are telling them that or if they're just not paying attention i kind of go back to their maybe they're not paying attention because uh, like i said the last few have told me they've got a map and they're handing out maps and things like that this gal said no she didn't get anything like that but i don't know anyway it's it's busy uh, which which is why we're over here you know it's it's uh, turkey day and and uh, Black Friday, biggest shopping weekend of the year, and everybody is packed. I mean, we had we had parking lots that you just couldn't even get into. So, uh, you know, they're they're there, they're checking in. Last night it was overrun as well. I would assume we'll be back over there again this weekend. It's just early Saturday morning. We've still got one that's not been picked up yet. Not sure what's going on there, but uh, stick around, stay tuned. Don't want to miss out. Hey, how you doing? Doing good. How are you? Doing all right. Can't pick up the black Honda Pilot. The black Honda Pilot. Yep. You guys a registered owner? I am, yes. Sir. Okay, yeah. As long as the ID matches the registration, I'll get it up here for you. All right. The hell of a walk. You walked from Country Inn and Suites. Thank you, yeah. sir. Appreciate that. Yeah. I couldn't get an Uber or Lyft, man. Wasn't nobody pick it up. Well, that's not good. Here's that receipt. If you got keys, I'll bring it up here for you. All right. Well. I guess I'm not going to get body slammed by the handicapped lady, it appears. Yeah, sorry for the mix up there. She's a... Uh, hey man, you gamble. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We <laughs> oh. did, hey look, listen. We really did look it up on the internet before we parked. Yeah. So it was an honest mistake. I mean, we were... Yeah. But, it's, you know, it, it, it there's happens. a reason there's a hundred parking... <laughs> <laughs> the paid parking lots paid parking. yeah if you're any of those so, paid parkings yeah. then you'd be safe but yeah any of those any of those businesses private will property, call private property yeah i know was it is it mom or grandma somebody's upset with me so both both yeah <laughs> well it's just a you know, <laughs> situation we have medicine in here and gotcha you know, my wife is you know whatever Try, it, yeah you don't want to hear the sob story oh no no yeah it not sucked. <laughs> I'm just glad everybody's uh, safe and maybe you can get back to having some sort of Well, fun. mom was walking with me here and she made it about three quarters of a mile and I had to stop so I got to go pick oh, her Oh, you got to go back and get her. Her blood sugar bottomed out. So. Oh no, I'm yeah. sorry brother. Well, well, you get back to her and get her safe. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. Uh -huh. Why did he make her walk? Why didn't she stay at the hotel? It's his car, right? Yeah, his car. Yeah, his ID. The registration for him. He's the owner so I, she probably just wanted to come beat me up. Probably. <laughs> you might have deserved it. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're off to the next one. It's a little warm today. It's a little busy too down here in downtown Gatlinburg on a Friday night. Black Friday. Uh, yeah, no, Black Friday night. But anyway, guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone had a uh, fantastic Thanksgiving and hope everyone ate way too much and had some good time with, with the family. That's what it's all about, being with the family and uh, having a good time. So anyway, we're over here and I just wanted to reach out to Mason and tell him thank you for the for the card. So I got uh, UPS uh, had said that we had a, a package that was supposed to be delivered to to us over there at uh, and it's tough guys our, our our newman road lot we don't have anything there there's no box or anything there so the ups guy reached out to me and said well i think i lost your package so i was really disappointed but nevertheless it showed up today and mason and liz got together and got a got us a 25 dollar taco bell gift card so we can uh 
we can stop and you grab some some quick lunch awesome. liz reached out to us it's been it's been a few months back but uh mason just graduated and uh congratulations again mason on, on the graduation hope that uh, college is going good and, and uh hopefully you're uh looking forward to the future but uh yeah they he reached out and said all he wanted for his graduation was our merch and so they they had purchased some some merch and uh, that's how we got to know mason and liz but anyway that was that's super nice that you guys would would uh would do that for us so that will definitely come in handy we're always uh, out on the go and taco bell is is right up there with the with the rest of them so yeah but anyway guys wow it has been crazy all day today the traffic has just been it's just been gridlock almost uh everywhere we go uh there's there's intersection blockage there's people there's uh everybody's out there to get that deal you know that uh that deal for christmas and the markdown i don't i you know I, we've done we used to do that mm -hmm. years ago we used to fight and uh and get out to try to get these deals but anymore we're we're just too busy really or too lazy <laughs> <laughs> it's just way easier to order uh order from uh, online and get it shipped in so you know before we used to eat uh, eat our turkey day and, and we'd go out and that evening about i don't know usually, usually six eight o'clock when things started opening up with their with their good deals and we would all pile in the car and and wait in line for they're not supposed to be parked there no they saw you and they got back in there turned around and got back right right back in their car funny but yeah we used to we used to pile in and go do the the shopping and, and wait in line and all that good stuff and and now we just kind of we we veg out on the couch in our in our socks and sweats and and uh just just start ordering things and hopefully the the ups guy puts up with us the mailman we've got an awesome mailman we really do and fedex and ups too yeah and i, and I get I, I don't know i feel like these guys are we get to know them on a personal level too uh, you know our fedex guy I'm, I'm not sure if any of these people watch our channel but if they do we love our fedex and uh, our ups guy my ups guy especially is like I, I i talk to him and he's seen our growth throughout the channel and kind of uh you know since we moved here he was you know he's been bringing us bringing us our stuff and our goods our fedex guy will he, he always leaves things you know right where we need them and and uh our mailman is almost exclusive to <laughs> <laughs> so the rest of our the rest of our uh, people that live in and around the neighborhood are always like we don't ever get our packages and I don't know what's going on and well uh, Alex he'll, he always brings he always brings our stuff up to the garage and he lets it sit and uh, we're very lucky we're a very lucky family and uh, we're just surrounded by cool people everywhere and uh, uh, that was kind of my kind of my little rant there for the afternoon I wanted to give my shout out to uh, Lisa and Mason, thank you for the card and, and uh, shout out to all the wonderful people that we do know and that help us on the daily basis. And I'm going to try my best not to run over anybody in downtown Gatlinburg. It's going to be a challenge. It's going to be a definite challenge. People everywhere. Uh, for all my folks out there that drive big trucks, I just want you to know that this section right here and the mirror section seems like it's about a quarter mile long and uh, you just can't see anything and I always I'm always pulling out and Kristen's always yelling at me and I can't see anything but I do try my best but anyway enough rant uh, I'm gonna turn well that's what I did I turned back around so I could go down here because our candy kitchen lot seemed a little suspect mm -hmm. anytime they see the tow truck drive by and people are sprinting back to their car it's probably an issue down here so stick around stay tuned maybe somebody doing something they're not supposed to if you're not paying to park you're doing something wrong let's go see if we can figure something out no she'll call us for the removal brother there's signs everywhere i'd rather not tow today <laughs> be safe man any of the paid lots you're gonna have to pay to park okay. yeah that's that's just the just one of those things but they will call us every time I got you. <laughs> thank I you man just as i suspected that's why i turned around guys it's like i don't understand there's a million signs in this parking lot too and if i hadn't have been here if i hadn't have turned around i guarantee you he'd have parked that big boat and he'd have walked away anyway guys one last thing that's on my mind are the merch shop i want to say thank you for everybody that's that's supporting the supporting us we appreciate the, the support in the channel with uh, all the merch that you guys have been 
scooping up from us and we've got plenty still guys we've got a new shipment of uh t-shirts got some cool t-shirts that came in and uh go check those out and just click the merch link and go check out some of the merch we appreciate that and we've got some some cool stuff but anyway i'm gonna get out of here so i'm not chasing people off and we'll see if we can get a uh illegal parker